Hi guys! So, it's New Year's Eve and we're getting ready to go to an 80s bar but first we have to find somewhere to eat because we're gonna be hungry soon. We're not starving yet which is great because I know the wait's going to be lengthy. So, we're getting ready to leave and it's New Year's Eve and we're super excited. Okay, so I know these last few videos for Vlogmas have been kind of nip free and it's mostly because I've been taking some time off for myself, mostly because I was knitting socks for my family and mostly because I'm lacking in inspiration right now. So right now what I'm really, really heavily into is knitting balls. The Arnie and Carlos balls. I know I've mentioned it before, but that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm into right now. I'm kind of doing one thing at a time because <laughs> that's about all I can handle in my life right now. But let's go, you guys. We're going to go get something to eat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show much of what I am doing tonight because it's going to be really, really dark. There's probably going to be lights everywhere. We're probably going to have like a failed New Year's Eve thing because that's happened before. I don't know. Let's just go get something to eat and then we'll see what happens where the night takes us. Okay, but before we go, I just wanted to show you really quick what one of my very first balls is going to look like. I haven't blocked it. I'm going to steam block it the way Arnie and Carlos do suggest. But I am so happy with this, you guys. It's so pretty. This is just yarn that I bought at Michael's. I bought another set of sport weight in cream and red from Hobby Lobby, which I don't think I'm I don't think I'm going to use. I think I'm going to do what they suggest and use DK weight yarn, but 2.5 millimeters. So I think size two. Uh, knitting needles with DK weight yarn it, it will create a much denser uh, less see-through kind of thing there you see how it's kind of it's a little bit too loose I did it in a much larger I guess the uh, needle size called for for DK weight yarn and um, that's not what you need to do when you're knitting balls it's like the same thing with amigurumi crocheting you always want to crochet with a smaller hook than it, what is called for in the yarn so you'll have a denser fabric and you won't see the polyfiber fill or the wool roving inside your balls so i'm looking forward to having a full tree next year look at that <laughs> That is going to be so cute. Oh my god, I cannot wait, you guys. They're going to be smaller. They're going to be this big. But, okay, bye. So, there we were, trying to look for some place to eat. An El Torito. And the first place that Nathan takes me to is El Torito. Nothing wrong with El Torito. We all know how El Torito went last time on Christmas Day. Well, they weren't open last time. They were open. No, well, they were shut. They, they wouldn't let people in. They were open and they were closed as soon as we walked in so yeah suffice it to say that El Torito was not a good choice for my New Year's Eve celebration so we brought me somewhere else we don't have reservations but let's just see what happens this looks so pretty yes thank you oh my gosh We're looking at the menu and I started flipping out because I realized we're in an Italian restaurant and I'm really working hard to stay away from anything that's going to make me ill. But they have gluten free so you can substitute any pasta here with gluten free pasta. Okay but it doesn't work if you don't ask for gluten free before you order your salad when you don't actually know that there's pasta in it. I don't know that. That makes no sense, but you know what I mean. And croutons need to go away. Oh my god. He just brought this and plopped it down on our table. I don't understand. This is evil. Evil. Oh my lord.
forgot what I ordered, but it looks delicious. It's a pork shank in some sort of bread sauce. Yeah. Okay, so this is a coffee. Tia. 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 I, I can't say what it is? right. But you you press the, you press it down. And it keeps all the and ground, coffee, at all the the ground coffee at the bottom, and the rest of the, and the, rest of the liquid at the top, and then you can pour the coffee it's out. Basically, it's steeping in the coffee. It's like steeping the in the coffee. Hmm. I've never seen that before. This is interesting. Chocolate creme brulee, guys. Oh my lord. <laughs> Macchiato. I really don't know what I was thinking. The macchiato comes with this lovely treat. I don't know what it is. I'll have Nathan eat it. Best dinner in a ever. really long time. Best dinner ever. It was oh so God. good. It was so good. The lamb shank was amazing. No, pork shank. It was a pork shank. <laughs> Why do we always do that? <laughs> well, because you never usually get pork shanks in a lot of places. What's wrong with my hair? It's my hair. Yeah, pork shank was amazing. I don't think I've ever had a pork shank before. And that was really good. I probably shouldn't have eaten the potato thingies. Potato yoki? Potato yoki. I don't know what to call it, you guys. And the bread was sourdough, so I was able to eat it. It was okay, but I'm really full. We had the creme brulee, chocolate creme brulee afterwards, and the macchiato. Oh, it was so good. It was really good. Way better than El Torito, guys. Yes. Oh! That's amazing! Okay, turn around. Turn around, let's go back. Night we had was House of Blues. Yeah, 80s night, House of Blues. That was a while ago. Boy, the lighting here is terrible. You guys, we made it to that 80s bar. I have no idea where we are. That's the bar over there. Um, there's parking, a ton of parking across the street uh, at some indoor swap meet. And I don't know, you guys, I have no idea where I'm at. This is gonna be weird. I, I hope it's fun.